my guys. I'm going to show you how to prepare pipe cleaners. However, they don't call them pipe cleaners anymore. From what I found, they're called fuzzy sticks. At any rate, they are um, pipe cleaners. <laughs> Metal. Get them in all different colors. These ones, of course, are purple and red. I'm going to start with a basic shape. Now I want to show you something. When I first started, and I did not let it frustrate me, here's what I got. It looks like a sparkly onion ring, and it doesn't even sparkle anymore. So that was one of my very first tries with this. Well, I've learned a lot since then. And this is one of my most recent. And I have not yet resined any of these or put them in resin that I I know that I put some resin on one at one time and now I can't look at it <laughs> but I will do that too and add it to this video okay first thing we're gonna do twist our pipe cleaners together to make one long pipe cleaner then you're going to make a loop and twist it just like that. Now I'm going to run this piece under and pull it about the same size as the loop I made. Then I'm going to continue to go around that center loop doing that trying to keep it about the same size. You, you need them to be relatively close together so that the crystals can grow across the gaps. And there I have a nice three shape. Next I'm going to come through up here and then bridge this gap just to make it larger. I'm going to pull it around. Sometimes in order to get it to stay you might have to go through a second time and tighten it up. And you can manipulate them to any way you want them really. And the more you practice this, the more you will learn what makes your best design and how you want it to turn out, really. So I'm going to go with this. And this end right here I don't normally have, but I'm going to attach my cable or my wire or my string, whatever I choose to use. I use thread on the last ones and that worked really well but basically the thicker you see how that's grown up on the top of that cord you'll have that happen and when you pull them out you can always bust that and put it back into your solution I will go over how to make the solution but right now I'm going to just show you how you want your thingy jigger to sit like this, or I did. Seemed to work better for me. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook a pipe cleaner. Now, once again, if you don't have that little thing sticking out, take you a piece of thread, and I put some through the middle. And I'm going to show you what uh, I accidentally made, you may have seen the picture, I made accidental sculptures. So, I've already got a stick here that has a sparkly onion ring on it. It's a skewer. 
So what you're going to do, whatever size you choose to use for your container, the smoother the better. Um, I bought a pot specifically for borax and I wrote in permanent magic marker, this is borax and do not discard it so nobody would throw it away. So I've got this ready. Now I want it suspended but it cannot touch the sides or the bottom. Otherwise, it will grow to the sides and the bottom. And you'll have a flat spot or it'll be stuck. So once I get my depth figured out, when I have my solution ready, I'm just going to spin this around right here. I'm going to tie a knot in my string or do whatever is necessary. And then I'm going to sit this across it and make sure that this is centered in the solution. Okay, this is just part one. I happen to be out here at the shop and found the pipe cleaners. I will continue the rest. Um, I'm going to do this outside on my gas grill because this lovely cool 96 degree fall weather instead of 100, it's too warm to uh, heat up my house. So I'll get back on this ASAP. If you want to play along, get you some pipe cleaners, a container, something to boil water in, and a box of 20 mule team borax. So there you have that part. Happy arting. Where are you? Hi. <laughs> Okay, I got a lot of noise going on. What I've done, I have already got these ready. I made a few more and I changed the way that I'm hanging them. I have my skewer. The string is wrapped around. Tape this tape to itself. Now I've already measured these to know where they're going to come in the pot. So they're not going to touch the side or the bottom. So my water is already hot. I have used this previously, but it does need some added. Here's what you're looking for. 20 mule team borax. Detergent booster. So what you got to do is super saturate the liquid with your hot water. Super saturate means you're going to put borax in it until no more will dissolve. Now mine is a rather large scale. Yours won't be. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what you want to do. So I, that's all the borax I have so it better work. <laughs> you see how white it is? You need to let it boil or heat until it's clear. So what's going to happen, if you put your items, your pipe cleaners in there now, all that's going to settle and it's what we call snowing. It leaves a very fine mist of borax on the surface. That's what happened with the um, sparkly onion rings. I didn't wait long enough. So you can see it's gradually clearing up some. Okay, we're back. This has been at a full rolling boil for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to turn it off. And I said this pot is dedicated to this. I said it in the video previously, but I really did write on it. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see through the steam yet, but it is now clear. And it makes a lot of noise when it boils in this pot. I'm not sure why. 
this has discolored a little bit because I had some I've been using this pot for a while and it's got stuff in it but the crystals still grow white oddly enough okay now you know how I'm always telling you guys to do something you've never done before well I'm fixing to I put some feathers on a string so I'm going to submerge some feathers it'll take a little bit to get them to sink and I have a spoon so I'm just going to push those uh oh feathers have air in them that's why birds can fly and they have hollow feathers that are full of air why chickens can't fly they have uh, bone marrow and then I've got my three pipe cleaners and I made a little sculpture Christmassy right there probably look like a mushroom when it's finished and I'm just going to drop these in here and they sink pretty well and they're all below the level of the water if not you can drop them down a little bit just un undo your string and uh And get them submerged in there. I decided to go ahead and do it in the house because it's about 68 degrees in here and I figured that it's 80 something outside so they'll grow faster inside. So what I'm going to do is take my handy dandy lid and I'm just going to lay it on top right there and we'll come back later okay here's the results of the geodes that I created I pulled these out at 3 a.m. this is how much grew on the pipe cleaners this one broke off but this is the little sculpture that I did And as you saw in the other video, I put some feathers in. Now, that was my stepping outside my comfort zone I had never done before. And you guys saw the feathers that I put in. Well, here's what came of it. Let me show you how large it is in my hand. Look at this. This is feathers. So. I think I've got the process down. And you can see that it is the color of the pop cleaner that shows through. Got some nice big crystals on these. That's a flat side. And I said in the other video you didn't want it touching the side that's what happens when it touches this side there you go have fun trying this let me know what your results are if you do